Boston Marathon athlete Rick Hoyt will not be on the course this year. Hoyt has been part of the Hoyt wheelchair team in the last 36 Boston Marathon, but his family says he's been struggling with health issues and will not be able to compete. We wish him well and a speedy recovery. The heart and soul of the Boston Marathon are the people who run and cheer and volunteer. Race director Dave McGilvery has run Boston 46 times. Yeah, but this year is different. It is his first marathon after major surgery, and he's dedicating it to a very special five-year-old. We should all be so lucky to have a friend this eager to see us. Hey, you. Get out. And Dave McGilvery's just as glad to see Jack Middlemiss. He's always positive. He's always um, inspiring and motivating. Um, and he's just a ball of fire. You ready? Yeah. All right. 16 months ago, Jack, who has cardiomyopathy, had a heart transplant. I know what it's like to be in the hospital. Here's some tips. The same disease took his older brother's life when Joe was just six. Their parents, Scott and Kate, created the Joseph Middlemiss Big Heart Foundation to encourage kindness, support education, fund research, and help other families. Their marathon team is 13 runners strong. It just makes us so proud and happy that his legacy lives on. Scott Middlemiss ran the Boston Marathon three times for the foundation. His 2016 finish with Jack gave us all something to celebrate. This platform, you know, the greatest race in the, in the world, allows us to make sure that everyone, more and more people, know about our son and just remember how wonderful he was. McGilvery was already behind the Big Heart mission when his own heart began failing. He had triple bypass surgery last fall. And I thought, talk about the stars lining up, now's the time to, to sort of dedicate this marathon to um, their foundation and in particular to my buddy Jack. You're going to regret this. Every time I feel frustrated and full of self-pity, about what I'm experiencing, I think about what he went through, having a heart transplant, and then dealing with the aftermath of that on a daily basis. If you and Dave are racing, who wins? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Trash talk aside, these two have a bond that's formed over years at races and celebrations. Let's go! It's a beautiful thing to see how they connect with one another. And, and now, as survivors. Hi. Do you and Dave have a name for each other? Heart Warriors. Heart Warriors? Yeah. All right. Monday, as one warrior battles the course, the other will wait at the finish line, each representing what makes Boston more than just a race. It's about the pursuit of athletic excellence, but we also have an event that's changing lives and saving lives, and so it doesn't, can't get any better than that. McGilvery is raising awareness about heart disease and raising money for the Big Heart Foundation. His goal was $100,000. As of this afternoon, he's raised 101000 So nice. he's crossed yeah. one finish line days before the race. We have put a link to the Big Heart Foundation on our website, cbsboston.com.